Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. Today we start a new series of episodes about Microsoft Entra Managed Identities, which are the best option nowadays to securely access Azure resources as well as your own custom applications if they are registered and based on Azure Entra ID. A managed identity, as the name implies, is an identity managed by Azure and where the credentials are rotated and protected by Azure itself. Internally, there is the Managed Identity Resource Provider, or MSRP, which will take care of issuing an internal certificate to protect your identity credentials. Those credentials are so heavily protected that even a global admin will not be able to access those credentials. And by using the managed identities, you will be able to replace all of the passwords, secrets and certificates that you used to use to securely access resources on Azure. Whenever you uh, create a managed identity, you can either create a system assigned managed identity or a user assigned one. The system assigned managed identities are those automatically created by Azure and which have a mapping one-to-one -to, -one to a specific resource, meaning that when you will delete the resource, the managed identity will be deleted as well. When you have a managed identity of type system assigned associated to a resource like, for example, a web application or an Azure function with multiple deployment slots, the name of the managed identity will be based on the name of the resource followed by slash slot slash the name of the slot, meaning that you will have multiple managed identities for each and every deployment slot of your service. On the contrary, for regular services without deployment slot, you will simply have the name of the managed identity which will map to the name of the resource that it will be used to protect. If you create a user assigned managed identity, on the contrary, it will be uh, on your side to create and register that managed identity in Azure Entra ID as a special kind of service principle, and then you will be able to associate that user assigned managed identity to zero or more services, meaning that there could be a user assigned managed identity which is not associated to any actual resource or which can be shared across multiple resources. And of course, if you will delete resources associated with a user assigned managed identity, the user assigned managed identity will not be deleted. It will be kept alive in case you want to associate it to other resources. No matter what, whether you will create system assigned or user assigned managed identities, then you will be able to authorize those managed identity to access specific target resources. Today, we will start having a look at how you can create a system assigned managed identity. In the upcoming episodes, we will see how to create user assigned ones and how you can grant permissions and access to resources to those managed identities. So here we are in the Azure management portal and I am in a resource group where I have a few resources just for the sake of showing you how to play with managed identities. Here I have, for example, an Azure function called the PSC's demo function. In order to assign a system assigned uh, managed identity to this resource, I simply need to click on the identity section right here on the left and I need to enable the status of the system assigned managed identity. By clicking on save, a managed identity will be created for this resource with this name, as you can see right here. And after a few seconds, we will be able to see the unique ID of the application that got created, this one. and I can eventually uh, manage its permissions. If I go to the Azure Entra ID uh, management portal, I can go to Enterprise Applications, I can filter by Managed Identities, and we can see that we have uh, the PSC's demo function we got created in our Azure Entra ID tenant. Now, if I switch back here and I go to my resource group, I can, for example, select a target resource like uh, the Azure Key Vault. I can go in the access control section and I can add 
a new role to an identity, which will be my newly created system assigned managed identity. So for example, I want to give to this managed identity the key vault secret users role. I can click on next. I can say that I want to target the assignment of this role to a managed identity and I can select it. So in my subscription, I will select a managed identity for an Azure function app. And here I can see the function app that I have in my subscription. I will select the one that I choose before. And by selecting it, I'm going to add, add that role to that specific managed identity. So review and assign. And once I've done with the uh, review, I can assign the permission to the target uh, uh, managed identity. If I will go to role assignments, we can see that right here, we have the PSS demo function with that specific role assigned to it. And starting from now, that managed identity will be able to access with the key vault secret user role, my target key vault service without the need to provide a specific set of credentials like a, a password or a key or a certificate or whatever else. And in the upcoming episode, we will see how the resources with an assigned managed identity will be able to access other Azure resources securely with managed identities. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.